We uh, had a big win last week against Florida Atlantic. I uh, felt like our guys <clears throat> played well. I um, felt like we improved. I uh, had a solid week of practice so far, um, you know, preparing for Arkansas. First up, we have Brandon Marcello of AL.com. Hey, guys. Hello. I was just wondering, can you tell me a little bit about and maybe compare Rhett Lashley, the quarterback at Shiloh Christian, and Rhett Lashley, offensive coordinator, and how he's changed over the years? Uh, boy, I tell you what, he was always, you know, kind of ahead of his time. Uh, maturity wise as a as a player student of the game um you know i mean obviously you know you get older and you know get more professional and everything goes with that but uh he's been pretty consistent i know for the longest time you've said that he's on pace to be a head coach someday what what do you think what do you think he's gonna be like as a head coach when he does get that opportunity and how soon do you think it could happen for him well i mean he, he'll be very successful i mean that's how he's got to where he's at you know, uh, you know he's got all the ingredients, uh, and like I said, I don't, I don't know the timetable. Selfishly, I hope we have him for a while. Thank you. Next is Bob Holt from the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Hey, Gus, how you doing? Hey, Bob. Hey, uh, you guys are leading the league in rushing, and of course, Tim's your running backs coach, and JB's your offensive line coach. Talk about the job those two guys have done, and, and helping you get to that spot. Yeah, I tell you, both those guys have done a great job, and, uh, you know, they have a whole lot to do with that. Um, you know, JB's a great teacher. Uh, Tim's coached uh, some of the best running backs in college football history. And uh, those two are are, are very close. Uh, they work closely together and, uh, you know, doing a great job. You know, and everybody except you probably talks talks about you coming back home this week. But really, it's your it's you know so many guys on your staff. You know, Tim, JB, Rhett, heck, even Ellis Johnson coached her for a couple of weeks, and you know Wes Murphy and Cody Burns. I mean, what, what's it like just collectively for all you guys to be coming back uh, to, to either your home state or a place where you worked? Well, I mean, of course, I've been there and done it before. You know, those guys, a lot of them haven't. Uh, you know, really, we hadn't really talked about it. Uh, it's been focused on preparing, you know, and trying to give our guys the best chance of being successful. Jared Staley of Bleacher Report. Hey, Gus, how are you? Hey, you doing good. Um, I know you and Chad Morris have a, a long relationship, and uh, I know a, a while back he credited a, a conversation he had with you in the early 2000s after he had a, a pretty bad season as a high school coach as one of the, the you know, big pieces of his success as a coach. Uh, what do you remember from that conversation, and what was the, the message you gave him you know, as he sort of worked his way up the coaching ranks? Yeah, you know, I think he gave me a call and out of the blue and just, we played in a championship game, and he asked, you know, if he could be on the sidelines coming from Texas. And I was a little leery, to be honest with you, at first. But, uh, you know, we developed a relationship, and he brought his staff to Springdale. And, uh, you know, from then on, you know, we just started sharing ideas we think a lot alike. Um, I'm very proud of, you know, what he, what he's accomplished. Thanks, Gus. A follow-up from Bob Holt. Hey, Gus, what's what's the latest on Nick Marshall? How's he doing? What's his status? Well, it's still day-to-day, -day, Bob. Um, you know, he practiced yesterday, but, you know, we'll we'll make a decision. Matter of fact, it could be a game-time decision, but as soon as we find out, you know, uh, for sure, you know, that's, that's when we'll make a decision. You know, based on what you've, you know, seen from him and know about him after coaching him for a while, I mean, how optimistic are you that he can play in this game? Well, he's a tough guy, uh, I will tell you that. But uh, like I said, it's day-to-day, day -day and we're hopeful.